Cancer, the moon is full. Venus and Big Daddy Jupiter are teamed up together in the sign of Gemini. And it's a particularly lucky time these next few days. So let's confirm what that means or looks like for us Cancers, shall we? All right. Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian vibe. I am she, the boss lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Anything that you want to know about me, the channel, how to get in touch with me, how to book a personal reading or a one-on-one -on -one session with me is going to be found in the description box below so definitely make sure that you check it out okay make sure that you are tuned in cancer all right go ahead and leave me a little residue of your energy on my thumbs up button i appreciate it i tend to resonate better for those that are um interacting with my channel and stay tapped in if you're new here okay definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know that you are new to the family so i can welcome you in okay appropriately so definitely make sure that you are um tapped in by making sure your notification bell is turned on as well cancer okay no matter where you have cancer in your chart you can find home and family and love over here i just caught 111 but hey cancers let's see what's going on for these next couple of hours next let's say 48 to 72 hours for cancer <clears throat> Like I said, um, astrologically, we're dealing with some really potent kind of lucky energy. If y'all, oh, if y'all had noticed, uh, there was a card that had fell as I was giving my little intro spiel and it was romance. I don't know if y'all have peeped it, but I don't know. I am getting this vibe, Cancer, that you, somebody could accidentally, um, fall in love this weekend. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who that's for. If you end up, you know, in some type of like a whirlwind kind of romance. And this could be with someone you've already met. Or this could be a stranger that feels like you've known them for lifetimes and lifetimes before. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know who that's for. But congratulations. You know, who doesn't want love, right? Um, but let's get into it, Cancer. Let's see. What's the energy? What does Cancer need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, about the next couple of days here next 48 72 hours for cancer thank you Ooh, we got manifestation showing up cancer so a bountiful time awaits you your wishes could manifest right before your eyes so the energy that i'm feeling as far as kind of you know lucky um magical sparkly that's the vibe it's giving something good something that you are trying to manifest is um could really just materialize right between your right between your eyes like or right before your eyes cancer and it could be kind of scary because it feels as though you just manifested it and it could kind of come in very quick but honestly i feel like this is something that spirit has wanted you to kind of align with as far as what you desire okay um and so a bountiful time a bountiful time makes me feel joyful makes me feel okay i'm feeling the spring vibes bounty all right so um definitely the nature i don't know i'm getting flowers you could get flowers um these next couple of days i don't know who that's for all right but look yeah and see y'all did i not tell you in the um in the full moon reading i was like this is a time to do something fun you know we're in gemini season gemini is kind of flirty talkative social butterfly okay um so i feel like really really um really really taking the best advantage of that um energy and going and getting out there putting yourself out there interacting being social i feel like you just don't know who you're gonna meet cancer and i really feel that you know it doesn't even have to be romantic it's given right place right time that you could um you know meet and link up with your soulmate this could be you know someone that's going to help you in regards to your business this could be someone that's going to help you in regards to um working out like you know you just never know what it is whatever okay but society it says say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result so yeah like straight up the vibe like yeah i'm telling y'all somebody because i feel it deep down in my spirit like before we had even started i kind of touched on it and say yeah the vibe is that you're gonna meet someone okay and if you are single and wanting to manifest love like this would be the moon to to manifest it under i did my manifestation moon workshop it was real intimate it was real great shout out to um those of you that attended um but you know and i even said in the reading y'all still that the energy is going to be potent up until 
pretty much Saturday when you are, you know, waking up, depending on where you are. But um, there's still time to kind of take advantage of, you know, doing a manifestation ritual um, in this energy so that you can kind of help attract what it is that spirit is trying to give you but yeah i do feel like there's a chance there's a chance meeting like randomly somebody could invite you to something last minute and you know cancer you the good the good in you would be like mm, i'm i'm good at home you know in my bed comfy comfy but i feel like you should really get out this weekend these next 48 72 hours cancer okay what else does cancer need to know about this time spirit that's too many. What else does Cancer need to know about these next 48? Mm, okay, interesting. So we got sexuality, okay? And look, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this could be, you could be um, taking something to the next level with someone that you already know, Cancer. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. So it's giving friend falling in, in love. And it's giving like soulmate, like y'all were... It was meant to be this Gemini, the lovers. Yeah. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if single, beware of the temptation that could lead to trouble. All right. A child will also bring great joy. And I feel, I don't know who I'm warning, but I feel like if you aren't, um, you know, be free and have your fun. But if you aren't trying to reproduce, be careful. Okay. Um, you know, I'm giving you some wisdom here. All right. And that's what's showing up here at the bottom of the deck. Um, basically, you need to take some advice. You need to heed the advice of the wise, okay? And so I feel like that was the advice, this message to say, you know, don't fall into temptation. Um, don't fall into temptation to move you away from your manifestations either. But yeah, it's, it is definitely giving some type of, look, you are ready and set to receive feel like i need you to be receptive to what you're trying to manifest your wish okay what you're trying to attract cancer um yeah but i feel like it might be easy cancer especially if you're like one that's trying to manifest love it's like don't try to manifest love and then go take it into your own hands to try to create it and make it feel like you manifested it because like you made it happen it's like no um be you know be wary of falling into that temptation it's like you you know of course you do have to take the actions that you're guided to take but kind of letting control go in that sense um i do feel like for somebody this is going to be some type of friendship that may kind of turn into you know something more something that is supposed to be so let's clarify this energy that's showing up I don't know. This is giving like, um, yeah, Ace of, Ace of Fire. This is giving one night stand vibes. And that's your business. Ooh, that's your business, Cancer. But yeah, um, that's funny. I think I said something about, did I say something about the genie and the wish? Because that's what I just saw. And well, now it done went away, wherever it was. But I saw like the little genie bottle. So yeah, it feels like some type of wish. It's giving your wishes my command vibes, okay? But the Ace of Fire is showing up here. So I do feel like there is some type of um, uh, desire. This could definitely be sexual in nature, Cancer, just saying. Um, but this is a spark nonetheless, all right? It's giving a good kiss that brings the fireworks, okay? It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not just saying that you hopping in the bed and that's who you are. That's not what I'm putting on you. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Anything that you do is your business, okay? Um, But I do feel like, yeah, there's going to be, something's going to change in regards to a relationship that you're already in, or you could just feel the desire to want to kind of have that flirty kind of um lovey-dovey kind of sparking this vibe kind of feel cancer yeah where there's attraction between you and another person and whatever it is even if you're even if you're not single right now this is like um rekindling the romance kind of vibe okay uh if you are with a person it's given like you know um especially be, do be careful if you know um what they say them love children you know them accidental one night of like pure just passion that's what this is giving for somebody cancer so just be ready um also 
I feel like too there may be a thing that you need to keep on like don't be very still stay very vigilant okay cancer listen to your intuition when connecting and interacting with another person because even still too you don't want to get caught up in illusions or have on these rose colored glasses where you get confused in this like lusty kind of passionate kind of energy okay um if this isn't love here cancer some of you are manifesting like a new venture like a new a new um experience or a new job or um some of you what i'm telling you it's like you need to take a step towards your manifestation so like um say you are trying to manifest love right it's like what are you doing to be open and receptive to love have you um reached out to a matchmaker have you put yourself on dating apps have you put like gone out um whatever it is you know like Get, come up with a plan of action to move towards your manifestations and watch them like really materialize between your eyes okay this is a high time to leave the past behind to cancer don't let the past dictate the choices that you make right now okay make your choices from the heart not from necessarily experience from the past okay i'm gonna say that too um what else does cancer need to know about this energy spirit See, yeah. Okay, yeah. Some of you are reuniting. And I feel like not necessarily with someone that you've been with before in that way romantically. Um, but I'm telling you, this is a soulmate. Some of you are running into your soulmate this weekend, okay? So don't say I didn't tell you to get out and put yourself out there. Because this is like the opportune time to run into what it is that you've been trying to manifest or want. It's like, go after it basically like seeking you will find okay but this i i feel like there's definitely a faded type of partnership that's happening your ancestors are guiding you your spirit guys they're moving you and this person together okay and who this could definitely be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius the fire energy is definitely here sparked but um this is someone that and i feel like with the sexuality coming up you all could be forming some type of soul tie in regards to that it's like the physical connection could really just be the icing on top between you and this person but yeah even if this is a brand new person to you cancer you're gonna feel like you've known them like you're gonna sit you may sit and hey my name is such and such and da, da, da. and after that it's gonna feel like i've known you forever like because there's a past lifetime that you all have all right um some of you, somebody may even be technically manifesting something from the past, a relationship or a connection from the past. Um, and it could definitely be, yes, there's going to be some type of communication for someone from the past. It could even be that you need to heal. Something that comes up from the past is, is just an indication to heal so that you're able to move forward and, you know, connect with this soulmate but yeah okay somebody did get in my comments and asked me to do a love reading i guess i should have done that pulled out the love cards but because that is a vibe is giving like chance fate 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 in meeting your uh soulmate reuniting with your soulmate and it's like don't when I say that, don't don't think that I'm saying you about to re reunite with that person that did you wrong and just had you giving up on love and whatever. It's not that. It feels like this is karmic, okay? This is someone um, that you are supposed to connect with, reconnect with at this time. There may have been factors in the past that it didn't even allow you all to kind of see it that way. Or this could be a friendship that you were seeing as you were seeing this person as just a friend until suddenly something in your mind has changed about this person there's some type of attraction there that's what this is giving okay um so all right but we got ego showing up here worrying someone could be worried about appearances all right um i feel like spirit is saying i feel like this is more so a caution to say don't get caught up in appearances don't get caught up in how things look or how you feel like they're supposed to look um i feel like this is a message for someone too your soulmate may not look like your physical type okay but there may be some type of bond or attraction there that just supersedes that that could be happening for someone where it's like you're you're connected with someone that's not maybe your physical type or what they look like you know the vanity right um but they are they complete everything else so it's like it not to say it doesn't matter because i'm not i'm not trying to say that you're with someone that's physically unattractive and that you know you you should settle that's not what it is but it's like something about something about 
your ego is being healed or being it's like the ego is the shadow side and so the sun is coming to like cast and move that shadow and so now that there's no shadow you're able to see something different you're able to have it see it from a different perspective okay um and yeah you could have been going back and forth about this this um two of pentacles vibe is here there could be some uncertainty too about whether you want to reconnect or move forward in this way. I feel like there is going to be a moment where you are going to have to kind of go back and, you know, kind of um, check in with yourself as far as how you want to move forward. I also feel like Spirit is saying don't let your pride get in the way of um, moving towards what you wish for, right? Um, there's something that is going to... Like, don't try to just get yeah, the status quo here. Don't try to just go along to get along, right? Don't be closed off. Be open and receptive. And ego, ego, ego gets in the way. Ego can definitely be a block. Um, don't be looking to try to please others either. It's like, you know, be content with being happy for yourself, by yourself, okay? What else does cancer need to know? All right, see, and as I said, that self-love is popping out. So definitely it's like you, in this um, in this energy of self-love, I'm getting just a, a, a reconfirmation of manifestation, okay? Because it's like whatever you connect with now um, energetically, whatever you focus on will manifest, okay? You are creating, right? Um, this expansion energy is here, which we know Big Daddy Jupiter. We talk about Big Daddy Jupiter coming in and expanding. So there's some type of um, expansion happening in your life, but where are you setting your intentions, okay? I feel like this is definitely directly related or um, yeah, connected with your, your manifestations, Cancer. But remember when I said when you're trying to manifest or what you're trying to manifest, you have to connect with that and believe that. You can't doubt that. You can't have any doubt because that's gonna that's ego. When you get those doubts and you think like, why am I trying to do this? Or it's not going to work or, you know, any, any of that negativity that you have around what you're trying to create, that's basically, it's like... When you do that to yourself, think about it. Think about it like this, Cancer. When you do that to yourself, it's basically you not fully loving yourself, if that makes sense. Because if you are in full agreement and alignment and in love with yourself, and you know you have that um, intention, you're you're able to. And I'm not trying to say that you'll never have a negative thought, but you'll you'll be able to move past that if you are in the right space to be aligned with love for yourself and i'm not saying the egotistical kind of love where you know i'm selfish and all i care about is me but it's more so my self-worth okay um i feel like too um there is a message for someone maybe with the whole because the sex thing is here taboo hopefully i don't get banned for this or you know whatever um but do what you want to do. This your business, okay? I'm just throwing this out here for whoever it resonates for. So pick it up if for, if it's for you. If it's not, leave it on the, leave it on the flow, okay? Um, but there may be, you know, you maybe you want to check how you're moving sexually. I'm gonna just say that um, because there could be a there could have been like a dip in your self worth, or there's just we need to do a little check in with our self worth, all right, or whatever around um maybe our sexuality and what we are creating when we connect with people um as far as that cancer so just yeah be mindful of that and i also feel like to um get yeah, like you got to be hopeful you do have to be hopeful with your manifestations you have to like be anticipating it be be positively anticipating it cancer you can't let the negativity negativity swipe you out also like i'm telling you cancer do not miss this opportunity i feel like there's going to be some type of there's going to be some type of opportunity or invitation don't miss it don't miss it don't miss it because i do feel like something lucky something you were in the right place at the right time is going to happen for you however it happens in your life i feel like you know we're all on different wavelengths so it'll look different however comma it feels like yeah, and it feels like it may be somewhere that that may be your reason, Cancer, that you try to like dip out of it because you feel like, oh, maybe I don't look r good right now or I don't have anything to wear. It's something very vain that I feel like you're going to try to use to get out of fate, like what fate is trying to do or, you know, 
move you towards it's like you doing that you being e egotistical and in that shadow kind of energy distance yourself from your manifestations instead of attracts you towards them and so if you are um in the the light stage so not the shadow the reverse of the shadow you're able to attract what you're trying to manifest it's like think about it um a ship at night it needs some type of light to guide it to where it needs to go right so if you want your ships to come in you need to be the light and not sitting there in the dark soaking and not expecting the ship to show up and then yeah get up shine your light so your ship knows where to come in it's like okay santa claus got to come in and i'm not just saying whatever but look as i split the deck we're talking about the ace of pentacles manifesting this is a physical thing like you're going to be able to see a physical remnant of what you're trying to manifest you know sometimes we can manifest something and it just kind of it shows up spiritually or energetically you know this is going to be something that manifests physically this could be a physical person this could be um money this could be an opportunity in regard like this is going to be something you're going to be able to see touch feel with your five senses okay and it's something that you created because it started with a desire in your heart that desire in your heart created it that's where you're man that's where you're manifesting so even if you don't get to do some type of ritual even if you don't want to do some type of ritual as long as you have that intention you're set on an intention you connect it with that intention and you um stay hopeful about that look yeah your spirit guides are here and ready to assist you they're ready to give you the desires that you're trying to manifest okay and i feel like you're gonna see signs and synchronicities you're gonna see something physical in regards to what you're trying to manifest showing up in your life okay this is exciting kind of energy i'm glad i did come in and pull on the vibes let's see anything else for cancer all right see yeah, okay unexpected and this is crazy because yeah you're coming out of that stalemate energy but this is an unexpected turn this is i feel like you show up somewhere you're not expecting to do this or run in to meet this person this is giving like you know right place right time you run into some type of celebrity um you know i wasn't expecting it i wasn't dressed for it i wasn't ready but yeah this is it's something like that for you cancer okay this is the tower card technically and i'm not reading it i don't feel it as destruction unless cancer you let the ego the ego can destruct and get in the way okay but there is definitely some type of change that you aren't expecting that's coming your way all right some type of news some type of sudden invitation that's coming your way and it's just to break you out of this stalemate so that you can kind of release and be open remember i said you have to be open to and open and receptive all right but yeah this tower card gives me the vibe of surprise surprise manifestation right in between your eyes like you're gonna be able to reach out and touch whatever this is cancer okay um but see yeah and it fell right on your ego okay cancer don't let illusions get in the way it's showing up around your doubts all right because this is too yeah okay somebody may be using like their sexuality or whatever as like a way of escapism okay somebody and i'm not putting this on you like i said pick it up if it's yours put it leave it on this floor if it's not um but somebody could have some type of addiction to like this um this could even be a sex addiction for someone but it's like there's some type of addiction or pattern around the vain things or the uh, things of the ego that kind of are like the shadow all right it's like your um vision is clouded so there needs to be some type of clarity here okay and i feel like that subsides when you move out of this negative this negative space okay i think that had came out i don't know why i put it back up but let's see okay maybe something else is supposed to show up for cancer what else does cancer need to know about all right so look and there's the spring energy remember this is the flower moon time so this is spring in the air if you're in north america with me so this is a time of um i feel like abundance okay uh 
fulfillment and i'm glad it showed up because remember i talked about the card and it just went away look and clarity is here at the bottom of the deck so that's why i'm saying you may feel like you um lack clarity but there seems to be some unexpected sense in clarity like and your intuition is going to be highly in tune right now remember i said lean into that especially when connecting with another person um but i feel like yeah you're gonna be it's like i can see clearly now the rain is gone okay this is a nine of um cups vibe so this is wish fulfillment there is some type of wish coming true but i feel like that you have to move towards this wish if that makes sense like you have to it's almost like um if i told you okay there's twenty thousand dollars waiting for you as a, across town like in your mind your your ego that negativity would be like girl you crazy i'm not gonna go across town how do i even know like you just came out the blue and said that i'm not playing you probably playing like i'm not going and and doing it but the person that is you know um, a little bit more positive, a little bit more hopeful. Like, I I want that to be true. So, I'm going to go and look. Let me see. It might be, you know, 20K waiting for me across the, 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 the city or whatever. And so, you take that step. You take that action to get in your car and go towards it or take a bike or whatever you need to do. That's what I'm saying. Get your action plan together. But Spirit is really ready to give you some type of wish. Grant you your wish. It's giving rub on the genie. Okay, your wish is my command kind of vibe. And it happens unexpectedly for you and it's a it's bringing about a happy outcome um that's why i said whoever you're reuniting with whether you have known them in the 3d before with whatever it was i feel like it's bringing a healthy and um happy resolution so i'm not i'm not talking about your traumatic experience and love or whatever this is something that you are wishing for okay this is is giving wish upon a star kind of vibes cancer um you know plant those seeds because the the um planting this is the seven of pentacles in this deck and the seven of pentacles in the tarot is kind of you know waiting for those results if you if you've seen the seven of pentacles in the regular tarot it's like the person is sitting and looking at the tree and waiting for it to grow or whatever and you know how they say like a watch pot never boils but in this sense with that seven of pentacles vibe i feel like you it's like you need to keep your eye on the prize keep your keep your intention stay focused on your intention and what you focus on will grow and expand and what you you know so if you focus in on the wrong thing that's going to grow and expand if you're worried you have doubts um you're miserable you're doing this whatever with that um that's what's gonna that's what you're gonna perpetuate all right but if you move towards what it is that your heart truly desires and set on that intention and feel and truly believe that that can manifest for you that wish can come true for you then it will okay then it will so yeah and i saw the sun so that's what i'm saying and see the sun is over here too it's like the sun is being shined where there was darkness where you may not have been able to see where you were stuck in the stalemate where there was you know lack of clarity there's that's changing unexpectedly unexpectedly all right so yeah and self-worth is here at the bottom of the deck so i do feel like someone needs to work on their self-worth or feeling unworthy that could have been a toll from a past connection or relationship that could be what's coming up for someone um and even like i said with the past that doesn't technically mean that this person has to physically call you some type of memory could come up for you you know over these next couple of days cancer where you think about that and you see that memory in a whole different light because of where you are your your um third eye is heightened all right you're connected with spirit you've had these experiences so you're you're able to see things from a different perspective and that can be growth in itself sometimes reconciling or reuniting has nothing really to do physically with the other person although i feel like for somebody it does okay but this may be a chance that spirit is trying to bring something back around for you to realize your values to reestablish your values to um raise your vibration for yourself to to re-standardize your boundaries and how you move forward and you know re-strategize your expectations of what you desire right so i'm just saying um but there yeah the decision showed up here and some of you cancer i feel like some of you are gonna have to decide between two people romantically somebody's gonna have to decide between two people romantically for somebody yeah that's gonna be the storm here and it's gonna be sudden um <laughs> for you okay uh some of you may be deciding between staying with the person or not um yeah i just feel like you know there's an important decision to be made here for you uh cancer 
some of you could be deciding if you're gonna make something um official look at a uh, great fortune wanting to pop out family room what's this decision for cancer um but some of you are definitely manifesting great fortune i feel like that's the wish fulfillment and it's like you the decision is to be intentional about what you're trying to manifest okay but um clarify decisions for cancer Don't, us, yeah, look, because don't allow negative thoughts to get in the way of your decision. Like you are mature in the sense, I feel like this is your energy spirit is saying to be mature or think about the experiences that you have. Remember too, um, the wisdom card came out. Some of you may have access to someone that has more wisdom. They don't necessarily have to be older, but they could be older, wiser. Um, and they are trying to influence you in some type of way, help you with your decision. Um, this could be some type of mentor or teacher. You could be seeking this person out to help you with some type of decision. Okay. Because maybe your thoughts are a little murky. And so you need someone to kind of help you gain clarity. This would be a great time. Um, you know, to reach out to someone in that sense, some type of advisor, boss or mentor or whatever. Um, this could be a mother figure too. It's giving me queen of pentacles vibes. But yeah, I feel like spirit is saying also too that you have matured out of kind of throwing a, a little fit when something goes wrong and moving past that, if that makes sense. But yeah, where there was some confusion or there's some murkiness, I feel like that's coming and being washed out okay it's like yeah somebody could be on the verge of trying to make some type of tough decision like you're at you're at a crossroads or whatever and you are looking for someone that may have experienced it before um someone that's wiser and able to help you influence the situation someone that has some that you feel like has some type of influence around you a feminine energy clarify decisions give me one more for decisions for cancer decisions for cancer so disconnection yeah i feel like you are gonna be deciding if you're gonna disconnect or reconnect with someone um i feel like to cancer there's a message to say that um this is giving kind of reluctant reluctance too because it's like you have your back turn yeah, some of you could be reluctant or it's like your spirit is wanting you to make a decision, but you're like not making the decision and make, or making the decision could be you not wanting to take an act, not wanting to take action. It's almost giving a stubborn vibe. Um, and it's like it's giving four of cups vibe where spirit is right in front of you with this opportunity, but you're like missing it because you just refuse to move or you just refuse to see or you just refuse to make a decision or it's like you know two cups are in front of you and you just you miss out on both because you couldn't pick between the the two like you you know you could be over analyzing this but spirit i'm telling you like spirit is eagerly wanting to give you your manifestations cancer like the time is right now definitely for a wish fulfillment so yeah a queen of fire all right so there is a vibe of like a fire sign um this may be someone too that you can trust um a feminine fire sign since this uh this red is sticking out here on this mature woman now that you may want to uh lean into someone heavy leo um aries sagittarius energy so but again you know we're in sagittarius with the full moon but trusted ally is here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, yeah, you may decide to confide in someone. But um, this represents a feminine energy who could be the astrological fire sign, having in their natal chart or whatever. But um, a queen of fire displays traits of passion. And remember, that was that's what's coming up for you here. Um, intensity, creativity, love for community and leadership. She is innovative. She brings transformation. Transmutation is daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic. I feel like you are needing to embody this energy of the fire, okay? Um, this kind of passion and creativity for what you're trying to manifest. And it's like, yeah, transmutation takes me back to making lemonade out of lemons, okay? And your creativity, you're going to be able to freak that lemonade, okay? Um, your angels are popping up here. Your angels, I feel like, are going to bring you some news. Your guardian angels are with you, Cancer. This is the time to ask for some type of specific sign, especially when you're trying to make a decision. 
All right. So and when you do that, expect to see sequences of repeating numbers, flashes and lights, um, flashes of lights, feathers, vivid dreams or encounters with angelic people who have good souls. OK, your angels will work through others and around you to help you. Your angels um, could definitely be bringing some news by way of another person. It's very it's some type of important information that I feel like comes in for you suddenly. All right, this could be a secret. This could be a confession, an apology, an explanation, or personal hopes and dreams of the future. And I feel like this is this other person too. This person could be bringing this information or energy to you, one that you're gonna connect with. Um, Cause I'm definitely getting the vibe of communication. Gemini is all about communication, air sign. Okay, so be ready. Pay attention to the signs is what spirit is saying. Pay attention to the signs. Cause yeah, you're gonna be able to physically see it. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody's trying to manifest a car though, or new love. I don't know why spirit is saying pull a card from here, but I will just to see what comes out. But yeah, someone could be trying to manifest a car. I feel like that's gonna be a, a wish fulfillment for you. Death or rebirth is showing up, Cancer. So yeah, there's ending and um beginning. It's a number ninety card. This reduces into nine which is like that nine of cups vibe that i'm getting so it's like you know something has to die in order to for it to change and be reborn to what it is that you desire okay um and so yeah this decision may be to choose like accept death and accept rebirth however that looks like for you one more for cancer so look and say yes I feel like spirit is saying, say yes to this invitation, cancer. All right. Say yes to taking the next step. All right. That's what I feel like is important for you, cancer. But yeah, you're going to meet somebody. Someone's going to meet somebody. This person could have dark eyes. Um, yeah, whoever this person is, I just feel like it's going to be a good vibe. Like it's given very passionate, very hot, very steamy, very um exciting okay so i'm i think i'm gonna leave this message here i really really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way please feel free to like share subscribe to the channel if you haven't already talk to me down in the comment section i love interacting with you guys but in the meantime in between time until next time i love you